rap around here. I think it's an invasion. Who that? Who they? They're not from around here. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's an invasion. I think it's an invasion. I think it's an invasion. Man, they not from around here. I think it's an invasion. Greetings, earthlings. I am Wallace. I am Wallace. I am Wallow. I live life like there's no tomorrow. Chris King K G N O O B. What homes you ain't know? We're U F O. Cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks. That's the definition of what the cargo kids is. S O S yes, space style swagger. I never do anything right. I'm backwards. I'm so galactic, so erratic. You niggas on my old swag. You can have it. The world is mine, and your girl is too. So do us a favor, make room for the crew. Wow. Who that? Who that? Live. <laughs> I just want y'all to know that Paco really loves y'all because this motherfucker be antsy as shit before every goddamn show. Welcome back to the mother shit, bitches. We in, we in this motherfucker. It's uh, it's B. We are on the SS Who That once again for another week. I hope that y'all have had a good week. I hope it's been blessed. Uh, we have the captain of the spaceship, Antsy Demario. What up? What up? Where we at? What up, y'all? Yes. Saying hello to the world one time. <laughs> and our guest for the week, we have a lawyer on the SS Who That. We beamed him up um, so we can get some some legal advice before we, we visit Earth. So we have the, the, the introspective, the talented, the, the very knowledgeable James McVeigh. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm here. Give him a big Who That welcome. Th- thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for coming, man. But, um... Hey guys, we're here again. It's the Who That Podcast. Another week in the can. We got a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss. Uh, first things motherfucking first. We have noticed quite the buzz that Trump's about to be impeached. Like for real this time. Like, right. Hey. Well, an impeachment inquiry's been opened. But yeah, yes. but it's still a huge step compared to what it was with the Russia investigation. Yeah, like so... How, I get where it came from, but how is it that serious to where it is they can go further than the Russia thing? Because I'm all right. Lost. Well, the way it started out was that uh, we heard rumors. I get and, and hell, I I followed this stuff religiously, and I still yes. don't know what's going on. But like at yes. the beginning of uh, I guess last week, and Sunday being the beginning of the week, whatever, right? Beginning of last week, around Monday or so. We started hearing real rumors that there was a whistleblower. There was a complaint filed. We didn't know what the hell it was about, what was going on. Right, right. Um, Tuesday, it all started to snowball. Like, uh, And it turned out that the Department of Justice and, uh, and, and the White House were refusing to release this complaint to Congress that they are bound by law to release. Right. Uh, and Congress is getting pissed. Yeah. Um, I guess Donald Trump called Nancy Pelosi, who's the Speaker of the House, person in charge of uh, the House of Representatives, right. who who are the people in charge of uh, of impeachment in general. Like they're the ones who vote on it. Right. Uh, if, if they have a majority vote, it goes to the Senate. You have an impeachment trial, like Bill Clinton went through. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so he called her and he's like, "Hey, is there something we can work out? Like, what do you need?" And she said, "I." I want you to release the complaint. I want the complaint. And not only that, but I want the phone call transcript. He said, all right, I'll do it. 
Okay. And I don't know what happened in between then, but See. that evening she said, I don't care, we're opening an impeachment inquiry. Yeah. Um, oh. Officially. Right. Yeah, and it, it, yeah. it's really weird because during this whole Russia investigation thing, um, Nancy Pelosi, being Speaker of the House, was adamantly against impeachment or anything like that. Her she and, like, um, what's, the, what's the other guy, her... Uh, the her uh, 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 counterpart in the Senate, Chuck Schumer. Schumer, thank yeah, you. There it is, Schumer. Yep, thank yep. you, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, they were both against doing that for the Russia thing. I love both, uh, like, big time. But I, you know, I was over here just floored. I'm like, wait a minute, we have an impeachment inquiry open. We don't even because know it about. came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I mean, to me, it did. And like yeah, again, I'm. Nowhere. I run a podcast about this kind of stuff. Like we do a political podcast. Right. I follow this stuff religiously. I had. No idea. So, all right. <clears throat> now, with this stuff, oh, now with with a impeachment inquiry, and they got to do a vote and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Is the it because in the news, and I know the media is just depending yeah, on what whatever, channel, whatever, exactly, whatever where the wind blows, exactly. But they said that the difference now between this and the the Russia investigation is did Trump admit to it or something? Okay, so. This is an interesting uh, area of inquiry, and I wish I had, uh, I wish I actually had the statute in front of me. But the main issue with the Russian investigation initially was the Trump Tower meeting that uh, that Donald Trump Jr. Right. had with uh, with um, this Russian lawyer named uh, what was her name Veselinskaya or something like that. Right. And um, and, and they promised uh, they promised dirt on Hillary Clinton, but they didn't deliver. Mm. And so. If you read through the Mueller report, Mueller talks about this at length. Yeah. The issue is, is it's violating a uh, an election or a finance campaign law, um, and it's that foreign nationals cannot give any kind of contribution of any kind to uh, to aid in an election. Essentially, right. um, so it, if a, a foreign national gives an official, like a, an elected official, any kind of dirt uh, money. Right. Money right. is the main thing. Like they don't want you donating money. Right. Um, but but dirt counts. Like if you're giving opposition research or something, yes. um, it still counts. Uh, that was the whole focus of the Russian investigation: the idea of collusion between yes. Donald Trump and uh, and 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 Russia. Um, and so when Mueller went through that, he looked at the different elements involved. Um, every crime's got elements that are essentially you have to prove every one of them. One of them was a thing of value, mm. like the thing you're giving, right? right. Uh, because there was no actual information ever actually Exchange. given off. Yeah, there was well, there was no information that was ever handed off, so it's hard to quantify the value of it. You have right. to prove a value. Right. Uh, it has to be at least two thousand dollars to qualify as a crime, and it has to be at least twenty five thousand dollars to qualify as a felony. Okay. Um, and okay. so with this weird promise of uh, of dirt you know nothing ever came of it it's impossible to put a number value on so it. were they thinking that the uh the whole wikileaks uh and escapade and, and everything were they thinking that was due to russia oh yeah i i mean uh it's been a while since i've read the Mueller report but i i think we've all but confirmed that russia was behind the, the WikiLeaks, wikileaks leak um, but the thing was that they were trying to tie it to was did Donald Trump have any hand anything in, you know like with yeah that exactly co- uh, was he coordinating and okay. if he was coordinating it's what you would call collusion but really what it is is a conspiracy to commit this campaign finance law I'm talking about right um, and so uh, Mueller when he was investigating this he, he talked about it was hard to quantify uh, a, a thing of value and right. then on top of that you have to look at as a conspiracy goes because nothing was ever exchanged. You have to look at the conspiracy end of it. Like, yeah. is he trying to violate this law? Right. Um, and that requires what's called a corrupt intent or a willfulness to mm-hmm. actually be involved in it. And I mean, not to put words in Mueller's mouth, but basically what he said was Donald Trump Jr. was too stupid to understand what he was doing. <laughs> oh, wow. so, yeah. Basically said that like he, did, <laughs> we couldn't prove willfulness. Because he probably didn't even know he was breaking a law because he's just too dumb to understand what he was getting involved in. Uh, but, I mean, that's basically what the Mueller report says. Damn. So as much as Donald Trump and, and a lot of his GOP detractors, or, well, not DOG, his benefactors from the GOP, right. love to, uh, to talk about, um, 
No, there was never any collusion proven. Yeah. But they were right on. They were knocking on the door. No, I mean, it, they were right there. But the issue is, can't prove what the dirt was worth because the dirt was mm. never actually. We can't find a link to actual. Dirt in the that came words out. of Denzel and, Washington in his iconic training day row, it's not what you know. It's what you can prove. That's right. true. It's exactly. <laughs> well, and that and it's exactly what Mueller talked about. And then it's what he talked about throughout the entire thing. But in that specific section, it was we can't even we can't find a trace, you know, between WikiLeaks yeah. and, and Russia saying that like we know for sure that, that was the that was the that was the connection and that Trump exactly. had something is to that, do with that is whole that thing. The, that this Russian lawyer met with them and said, "I've got dirt on Hillary Clinton." But then nothing came of the meeting, and there's no way to tie anything to it. Mm. So, so you have you can't prove the thing of value, which is important because right. again, you you have to quantify some kind of value. Right. And the other end of that is, if you're going to make it a conspiracy, was Donald Trump Jr. smart enough to even know that he was involved in conspiracy? Yeah, yeah, they didn't, they didn't even, even know, know he was breaking the law. Yeah, exactly, anything, he's yeah. too stupid to even understand. Yeah. yeah so, know. so the way that ties back in though, and this is where it becomes fun, mm-hmm. that phone call. Uh, between President Trump and uh, and uh, the President of Ukraine, uh, and I'm going to try Zelensky. I think uh, maybe uh, man, I don't I don't see it in front of me. I couldn't tell you. I it's a ski it. at the end because I was like, oh, his name rhymes with Monica Lewinsky. That's, you know, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's pretty. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, the thing with that is, uh, presidents if, stay with if, skis. If, if Donald Trump, as he's accused by the Democrats, if he withheld the four hundred million dollars in aid from the Ukraine over this, come on through, Mike. If, if, if he withheld this, uh, yeah. he this, this money, then we already know the the aid he was requesting is worth four hundred million dollars. You know, Damn. I mean, right? Like, yeah. that's. It appears that he withheld this aid specifically for one purpose. Mm-hmm. And when he was talking to the Ukrainian president, they talked about military aid that goes to Ukraine right. and whatnot. And then, uh, and then he, Donald Trump basically said something along the lines of, like, you know, the United States does a lot for you guys. I need you to. But, but you don't do anything for us. Right. Like, we, we give you a bunch. You don't do anything for us. Hey, I want to ask you a favor. Uh, and the favor he requests is, I want you to go back to investigating Biden. Joe Biden's son. Right <laughs> now, where's the son coming to this? Oh, it, no, it, is, is this the one that passed away? No, 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 no not, no, not no, Bo, no. not Bo. Um, okay. This is Hunter. Who? Uh, Wait, Hunter. whoa, 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 whoa. So Joe Biden's son is the same name of Obama's dog? Well, the dead one is yes. <laughs> okay, I wow. just didn't know to make sure. Well, he was he was actually Joe Biden as well. But his nickname was Bo. And they called oh, him Bo. okay. Oh, but, you know, rest in peace, whatever, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, we don't, we don't but, bash the dead. Yeah, I'm not trying to, Well, he didn't, I mean, hell, I don't yeah. think he did anything wrong. Right. Uh, Hunter Biden's a fuck-up. Oh, Like a real? perennial fuck-up. Like, all he does is fuck up. <laughs> what That's his thing. I mean, we're talking about a dude who got kicked out of the Navy after his daddy got him into the Navy. Yeah. He got kicked out of the Navy because he failed a cocaine drug test. But not only fail a cocaine drug test, like a week Isn't later. cocaine only like three days in your system? No, yeah, exa- yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. At most. You, at you, most. Could, yeah. you couldn't dodge it for three days. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, well, what the fuck, man? Do drugs better. Right, like, do right. Drugs better. <laughs> but, uh, but not only that, but like a week later or something, he got pulled over and there was a crack pipe in his car. Oh, this motherfucker uh, is using crack cocaine. Right. He is the son of the vice president of the United States and his... Smoking Bulking crack. fucking crack. Yep. Right. Yep. So this guy's the worst. I mean, Hunter sucks. That's when you give no fucks about right. That's what I'm saying. Is like, Hunter sucks ass. Right. So, like... I thought I didn't give a fuck. He gets, <laughs> he gets recruited through some other people to be on the board of this Ukrainian natural gas corporation. Mm-hmm. It's called Burisma Holdings. Um, and I, I mean, for anybody who's listening to this and don't know much about, you know, being on the board of directors, it's basically a, a an honorary position. You don't really do shit. Right. You're you just know? chilling. Right. Yeah. You don't. I mean, you do vote and you vote to like kick out CEOs and shit like that. Right. right. But like you really don't do anything. Right. Hunter Biden never went to the Ukraine while he's being paid 600 grand a year to sit on this board. He just, never call, he just called in from Skype or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know. But he wasn't the only one. There were a lot of prestigious people who were on this board. Uh, None of former, them went. Former president of Poland was on the board with him. Um, 
there was uh, some major U.S. either day trader or uh, wait. Or, so he got he got him put attorney. on a board. This is after the crack pipe. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, was, uh, it was like a couple of months. Well, I mean, come on, we're talking about the bushes here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like basically, it, it's no. no question anybody who really is reading between the lines that Joe right. Biden helped grease the wheels because Joe Biden's big pet project was helping clear the Ukraine mm-hmm. of, uh, of 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 corruption after right. that after right. that uh, that um, revolt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So great documentary on um on Netflix, by the way, guys. Called Winter on Fire. I watch it like every month. At least once a month, I watch it. I just like to see what revolution really looks like. Sure, and, <laughs> and Ukraine was big on it. Yo, they were I mean, they, all the they way. had so much corruption set in after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Right. So, tough. like, we all get tied into this, and this all becomes a big thing. Yeah. Because uh, in uh, 2016, and now this is like two years, I think, after Hunter Biden joined uh, joined up with Burisma. Um, in 2016, Joe Biden as an emissary for Obama, uh, said, look, we got a billion dollar aid package for you. We're not going to give you shit unless you fire your uh, prosecutor in general. Like you, your main, the prosecutor general is a main guy. You're fired. You're, that's you you got to get rid of him. Right like, yeah. but, and really the whole world was calling for it. Like the oh, European the Union wanted the it. The UN wanted it. Because yeah, basically yeah. what he was doing was he was allowing money to be laundered through all kinds uh, of shit, you know, and they were, and he was claiming to be anti-corruption, but really, what he was doing was oh, corrupt. corruption. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, he gets sacked. The money goes to him. All's good. And then uh, a few years later, uh, someone accuses Joe Biden of having done that to protect his son. Because there was an, uh, a corruption probe going on with Burisma Holdings. Oh. Hmm. So, I mean, and it looks... Dude, I'm a conspiracy Yeah, well, it, too, looks, like it looks bad that, at that yeah. point, but when you delve into the conspiracy, you look at it. Um, the And I can never remember the president of Burisma's actual name, but he was uh, an oligarch that was, you know, in tied control. closely to previous administrations. Yeah. Like, what they were investigating on his corruption end happened... Years before Hunter Biden ever joined the board, uh, except he's on the, the board. except the Republican end of it, like the conspiracy yeah. theorists there over here talking about, you know, Hunter Biden's probably involved in the corruption. Mm-hmm. Joe Biden mm-hmm. jumped in there and got the guy fired. To it doesn't matter son. the era that they're yeah, investigating. and and so like that's what they're chasing. And so uh, Donald Trump bought that shit. I mean, you know, sounded uh, good, right? Like, yeah. I mean, that's going to fuck Joe Biden over badly. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's how we got to where we are today. So so do you think it's likely he actually gets impeached? No, I don't think the House has the balls to actually vote to impeach him. I mean, the votes are there right now. Right. Based on a tally of people, who, if they said they would vote that way or not. Right. But if you vote to impeach him, it goes to the Senate for a trial. And the Senate is... Well, the Senate is highly Republican. I, highly. I, I mean, not highly, but, but enough to where you would need 19 Republicans to defect to vote him out of office. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. That's not going to happen. I mean, there are a couple of uh, Republican senators right now, like Mitt Romney, Ben Sass, but you get uh, not 19. Susan Collins. You, you got three, but... You're not getting 19. Three ain't 19. Right. No. Yeah. Um, Hell no. But no, right, so I don't well, think it's going to go that everything. route. I don't think it's going to go that route. But yeah. this entire scandal is really bad, and here's why. During the Russia investigation, when we were talking about that campaign finance law I brought up earlier, mm-hmm. um, there is plausible deniability for Donald Trump to say, I didn't know anything about it, I wasn't involved. This is a phone call that Donald Trump made <laughs> to, to the president of another country Doing the same shit. Yeah, you know, man. But, but like straight up, I mean, it, it reads like a, if you've read the transcript, it reads like a bad episode of The Sopranos. Right. It's very much like, hey, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Very much like that. Yeah, it, and, and that's the entire thing that he was accused of with Russia, but now <laughs> it's on a phone call. Like, it's like, he did no. it in one phone call. You, know, like, you, you it definitely looks, do this. <laughs> it looks really bad, especially when he withheld all this money from the Ukraine secretly and mm-hmm. no one knows what happened. Right. See, and that that's the, that's the thing. When it comes to people in power, how it looks really doesn't affect them. 
Well, it can based on what voters think. Yeah. And that's that's but, the big thing is, man, the voters keep you in office. Honestly, you man, if there's votes. another WikiLeaks, man, I might vote Trump, dude. Like, because I'm a Bernie Sanders guy. If they if they fuck Bernie again, dude. Oh yeah, Bernie, yeah, yeah. Bernie, Bernie doesn't. I mean, I don't want to. I don't wanna fight with you too much on that. But Bernie doesn't stand snowballs chance in hell of winning that nomination. Not even I mean, they do. Not even if they do a Biden, Bernie Warren Biden, campaign. Uh, Biden's already got it. That's horrible. But no well, I mean, he no may. He, it, oh, also, God. if you're it, also if you're watching he's, any of the stuff he's and following, an it, it's, pretty, it's pretty obvious that Joe Biden has Alzheimer's. It's pretty fucking obvious. Yeah, when he's dude. talking, when he, when he corrects himself and says uh, all the time. Himself, well, no, but he corrects himself from talking about television, and then he's talking about record players instead. Like, man, what fucking century do you think? Uh, you're in? Do you know what I'm saying? Not well, only that, but, not only that, but he was dis- he was disparaging black folks in general when he was doing it. Right. Like he was talking about using a TV to raise kids. Yeah. And instead, he talked about using a record. He forgot Barack Obama's name. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, nah, man. He, like, I, in my opinion, he's trash and he's done. He's but over. He should have been who, done. But who's coming up behind him is Elizabeth Warren. Now, Elizabeth Warren may take. You think Bernie Warren on, might beat out Bernie? Warren's right on her heels as far. Or right yeah, on his but, heels. but I think they're gonna be on the same ticket. To be honest, man, I, think I would love that's that. What, well, that's what I was trying to say. Was yeah. that I think I think Warren would make him VP. Yeah, I, I mean, think I, I think that's what they lead up to. I don't know why she wouldn't. It'd be the best move you could possibly make. I think they're leading up to like to winning his little well, closer. Bernie ain't gonna get it. I like, think he is. Sanders, Sanders, twenty twenty. Yeah, well, cool, I think man. Sanders he's, is gonna get it. He's too it, old. Man. He's too old. I'm yeah, we're watching. We're watching. Old people, older people say they don't want to vote for Bernie because he's too old. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Man. Like, no, I know, I know. And, and then young people that's love the thing him. Is, well, yeah, well, no, I know. Long, but, young people don't vote, though. But that's the problem. That's the, yeah, they, and that's why vote. Biden's leading all these polls. Young, right. people, young people don't answer the polls. Where do these polls, polls come from? Well, the polls are uh, cold call phone calls. but like I've never gotten yeah, a polling call ever. But you wouldn't answer it if you did. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Good point. No, young people don't even say shit. And too shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always some old old assholes, you know, baby right. boomer with a phone at home. A home phone, and, yeah, landline. Thing, and then they start talking to him. They're like, yeah, okay, I'll answer some questions. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't like Bernie. He's too old. He's too old. No. Okay. I got to call my grandbabies. Yeah, no, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I don't, I don't like Bernie. I like the guy who's obviously got Alzheimer's because I'm not even watching the debate. <laughs> no, exactly, I'm not exactly. watching the debate, so I fell asleep. Yo, <laughs> I mean, everybody has drawn blood on Bernie. Or not yeah. Bernie, I'm sorry. Well, well some, Biden, people drawn, some people have drawn blood. But everybody on Biden. Everybody's drawn blood on Biden. Everybody's Dude, it's, oh, it's right, a waste. Right. You know how I feel. This is how I feel about Biden. I feel like it's like Al Gore all over again. Just a wasted yeah, yeah, yeah. slot. No one gives a damn. Yeah, nobody's voting. Yeah, like, yeah. No, no one really cares. No one gives a. Fuck. No one likes yeah, you. Yeah. They don't like Donald Trump. Cool, but like they don't like you. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I feel like with Biden, it's like, dude, you why are you even doing? Like, like go sit down. Like, dude, Obama Somewhere. just already he already gave you the little purple ribbon medal. <laughs> little, yeah, right. Yeah, you already. Yeah. Like, exactly. dude, you good, man. Yeah. You in the history books. You, go you were, sit you were your a senator. Head. You 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 fucked us over and gave Clarence Thomas by screwing over and. Need a hill, like. But we already, we're think? already tired of your ass from thirty years ago. Right? Why Just the fuck are you coming chill. out the grave again? Why are you still here? We, we right. liked you for the memes. <laughs> we loved you for the memes. You were yes. great for me, and that's what it is. Yeah, the monkey That's Joe, what it got. You Joe think you think it was the memes? Some, that somebody got came to him and was like, "Dude, you're popping on the internet." He was like, "Am I?" <laughs> I might throw my hat in the ring. Yeah. No, we I mean, didn't mean that. We meant you need to start an Instagram. We didn't right, mean right. fucking be president. Start acting. Start acting. Even speaking from the conservative aspect, I like Uncle Joe. Well, as a person. I, I did. Yeah, well, no, I love him as a person. He's a great dude. Yes. But. Politician. But, oh, and, yeah, no, I mean, he's not doing it for me on the political end. <laughs> but also, not just that. Like, this runaround, like, this, this this turn. He's rough. He's got Alzheimer's, man. He's rough. I mean, I'm telling yeah, you, I've, I've, I have family members go through it. I already know what it looks like. Look at his glassy ass eyes. He has no idea what even state he's in when he's talking. All right, right. You know, like when you see him at when you see him at uh at, at campaign rallies and shit, and he doesn't get the he doesn't get the state right. No. So he's going to three or four different states a day. I mean, he has Alzheimer's. He like a motherfucker. Yeah, it doesn't you could tell him all day those, you're in Vermont, you're in Vermont, you're in Vermont. And he's like, Hello, up. Connecticut. Right. <laughs> they keep showing those creepy videos of him like like touching uh, females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 
and that's weird too. Yeah, that's weird. 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 I'm not the over, to overly it. loving yeah, Uncle Joe. And, 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 and like, <laughs> all right, for me, because I want to put this in context. For right. me, if I'm with a friend of mine or something like that, and I need her to like pay attention, I'll grab her face and be like, "Hey, yo." You know what I'm saying? You get the attention. But I'm not in office with a complete stranger that's only here for a visit, just on some like, how you feeling? You good? Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop uh, touching in, me. In multiple, in multiple states, I've worked for elected officials. So basically, I'm working in an elected office. Yeah. Right. I have never done that shit. Like, yeah. but, like, dude, no, no, no. What the fuck? No. <laughs> this shit is crazy as hell. You can't do that. And the fact that he, like, that they have so many videos to put up. Right, <laughs> like, they they have like a fifteen a one. fifteen minute like but, but again, clips. Now keep in mind that, that he's been in office for at least thirty years. Yeah, yeah. and like he's doing the shit in the eighties and everything. So does cocaine thirty years in office give you the right to caress no, whoever no, you no, want? But I'm saying you get a lot of videos for it, right? Like I mean, it's not hard to pull footage for 30 years in office yeah, right, you know right, what I'm saying right. like it's easy to you want to make a two minute clip of him being creepy well cool that's 30 years in the public spotlight which shouldn't be too hard if you need to go through 30 years worth of shit right. find him doing something shit. weird or you could right. find weird you can't find, you can't find any creepy shit on Sanders though <laughs> that's right All you, him and MLK that's what you're gonna find. Yeah, that's Bob the Yeah, nope, nope. Sanders, Sanders, what? He got arrested for civil disobedience, marching with Dr. King. Yes. In like Birmingham and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's that's my dude. I I am a. (laughs) I'm conservative. I don't buy Bernie Sanders socialist bullshit at all. But I said it in 2016. I'll say it again. I'd be happy to have the man as president as a placeholder while the Republicans get their shit together and give us another moderate we can stomach. And the only thing about Sanders that that kind of worries me is if he doesn't have Warren for a VP or if Warren doesn't go and have him for yeah, a VP, yeah, I feel like whoever the VP is is just not going to be on the same page. Right. The same way. You know what right, I mean? Right. The same way. And that's the only thing that worries me because it's like when you put yourself way, way out there on the island, you know what I'm saying? You're just, yeah, you, no, you have going, all your own ideas. Right. I'm like, yeah, let's say you get the whole country to go with it. What other politician? You're on the island out there. Yep. What other person like, and they agree. Like, yeah, that's, that's, well, I mean, shit, man. Uh, <laughs> Hillary Clinton, when she was running in 2016, I, I ran like much further left than she would have because Bernie forced her there. Yes. Right. And this is something that a lot that of... That was enjoyable. This is something that a lot of centrist <laughs> and especially conservative pundits are talking about. Right. Is the fact that the uh, Democratic Party has gone so far left. Off of one guy. Off of one guy. But, I mean, it's bad. It's bad yeah. for the Democratic Party because... Shit, you again, you got a bunch of baby boomers that vote that are Democrats yeah, that right. don't want to hear this socialist bullshit. They don't. They're not into it. They've been know. raised that they yeah, socialist exactly. bullshit. Yeah, well, and, uh, and you can't blame them. I mean, hell, when they went through it, I mean, go, imagine going through the Red Scare and McCarthyism right, and all that right. shit and the witch hunts right. and everything else. You know, I mean, what was the the, the old saying is uh, better dead than red. Right. You know, right. like... Damn. Right. This is the same thing that uh, Julian Castro is running, and I was like, "Man, I actually kind of like you, Julian, but your last name's Castro, and you're Cuban. Right. You're never going to be president it's not of the States. Happen. It's not happening. No, over not here. a yeah, fucking so. chance. Dude. You saw, you saw the shit Obama caught yeah, <laughs> for the right, last right. name Obama. His middle name was Hussein. Dude. Yeah, right. Shit, did he catch for that? He's a, now he's a secret Muslim. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got footage of him carrying around the Quran. And, yeah, you know, I mean, like, uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, and that, but. Uh, you're definitely not carrying the vote named Castro. Now, if, if they hit another WikiLeaks and they screw Bernie, I'm definitely voting Trump, dude. But why would they? I mean, how would they? I mean, first of all, like I just posited and said before, I think Bernie is probably the only person we have really on a national stage who's a truly honest person. Yeah. No. Like who is yeah. not that's what I like Right. Him. And that's what I'm saying. We have two types of old people. We have the old one that's like going down the hill, Biden, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, like no, you're a little too old. He's way down but the hill. I feel like Bernie is that that old uncle that rants when he gets a little bit too too drunk at the party, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> sure, sure. Like no I mean, matter what topic you give him, he's just gonna bring it back around to what he wants to rant about anyway. Right. So the fuck, we need that guy. <laughs> when the fuck did this country ever Want to have a president who's the the weird drunken uncle that rants? <laughs> yeah, like, we just did it with Donald Trump. Like now we want that. Like no, fuck that. I think FDR was probably that type of person too. He just didn't have a, a well, much not at first, but FDR was in that office for right. twenty four years. 
years. So. Dude, I think that no, like, no, 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 he wasn't twenty four. But either way, yeah. well, almost. But. When I li- and <laughs> most people might not like this. I'm sorry to the veterans that listen. When I listen to the uh, the Pearl Harbor address, when he's when he's like, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Oh, yeah. the, to me, that sounds like that old that old guy is just like, you want to fight? All right, we can have a fight. We can, <laughs> do you yeah, want to no. go? Let's fucking go. Right, it sounds like he went like this right beforehand, like. There's nothing to fear. <laughs> and I mean, hell, maybe. But, yeah. but the main thing there is that's what the country needed to hear. All right. Yo, yes. he we got our shit together. Fast. That was Yo, like pre-9-11. Pre you know? It was a day, it took a day to get Congress to declare war against Japan and Germany. Right. Like a day? A day. Yeah, no, nah, they fucked up. And, then you know, and you know Adolf Hitler's ass was over there like... Tojo Nine? Did, Tojo did what? <laughs> you know, like, what? What? He... Not America. Yeah. What so, in the fuck is wrong with you, boy? The only time we've been that he that ready to America? fight was was nine eleven in my lifetime. You know. What yeah. I mean? Well, I mean, shit. Nine eleven was such a con- convoluted. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I mean, he had to he had to cut himself back from what he wanted to say. Yeah. Well, we, I was like, oh, for real though, you were like, right? No, I, like, no, I don't want you to say it. When he, but when he came, when he came down to it, though, like, come September twelfth. We were all on board, right? Like, right. All of us were like, fuck them cats. Yeah. Get them. Yes. You know, like, I mean, we, we had a common cause to rally around. Right. Now, uh, Dick Cheney and crew and uh, a lot of other dumb shit happened. And yeah. uh, we implemented the Patriot Act, which is a f- terrible fucking idea. Yep. Sure. Was. Yeah, we sure did that. that and then uh, not only that, but I mean... We just did all kinds of dumb shit. I mean, yeah. lawyer, now, now all of a sudden, as a lawyer, does the Patriot Act violate shit? Uh, all no. day, every day, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah hang yeah. on. What? Yeah, due process off the ass. Right, right. right. But, but, I mean, all they have to do time. is suspect you of terrorist activity, and all your rights are like, whoop, just yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Try, be having, try sharing two or three names with uh, the worst domestic terrorist in America, man. Whoop. Do it, do it one that? time. You know, you gotta throw the hand. Oh, whoop! <laughs> but, but, no, but seriously, there was actually just a decision that came out um, that came out the other day, uh, and I don't remember which district federal court it came out of. But um, there is a, a, a freelance journalist who lives in Syria. All right. He's from New York. Like he's born in New York, grew up in New York and the Bronx, uh, but he's Muslim. Right. And he has moved to Syria, and he interviews, you know, uh, jihadist fighters, shit like that. Right. Whatever, whatever. He suspects, because of five near misses, that he's on the drone kill list. Huh. An American citizen. Oh, wow. Now, and, and, and five times, he's barely survived drone strikes. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so he is sued, and all he wanted to do was find out if he's on the drone kill list and to raise an issue with that based on due process saying right. that like dude you're, you're trying to execute me I'm an American citizen right you know yeah, like just do that and so the government just ruled against him and said that state secrets outweigh all of this so even if you're on the kill list it's not your business to know it sucks I hate it for you wow Wow, the kill list. Yeah, oh, you know, we do, have a kill, we do have a we have a named kill list. I wonder why we chose drones as the way to eliminate people. Because it's Red, the best way to do it. No, I think <laughs> biologically, like you biological know, warfare. Yeah, we wait, can't wait, do whoa, biological whoa, 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 gentlemen, the gentlemen, the convention only. Gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen, I think we have a good debate going here. Uh oh. Yeah. All right, what's your what's your case for biological? What's your case for drone strikes? I mean, if I'm gonna assassinate somebody. Because essentially that's what you're doing. But with what about collateral damage, though? I, I know, mean, um, a drone strike? Yeah. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a drone strike. A uh, oh, I was holding strike. a baby standing outside, got caught by a, a city a, camera. A hellfire, a hellfire missile. Yeah, hellfire missile. But that's like a building. If you're in that bi- a biological, that can a mile away. Like, yeah. No. Look. That can be like one for the Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Last question. Last question. Suge Knight killed Eze biologically. He did. With what? Okay. With and we, HIV, and we, and in an saw, interview, yeah, he was yeah, like, you yes. know, it, you know, it's kind of like if you just get in a fight with somebody and you prick them with that, with that yeah, HIV. But, 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 yeah, so, okay, you do that, but you have to get close to these people to do that. I mean, oh, how the man. fuck you getting close to some Afghani insurgent, mm, right? Uh-huh. Like, how are you going to get somebody close enough to stab with a needle? 
Put it in context. Uh, no, I mean, no, the no, nigga no, gotta go shopping sometimes. Russians are good at that shit, but they're doing it to other people in Europe. Like, you see it yeah. in the airport and shit. Right. These guys live in fucking caves. You yeah, that's yeah. true. Like, how are you gonna prick them with something? Yes. Yeah. And they you look know. different than everybody. Yeah, now you can't just well, show up and, and blend in. Insurgents uh. who are major uh, 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 war fighters for uh, ISIS, for mm-hmm. Al Qaeda, things like that. These people specifically blend in with communities. That's right. what they do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, well obviously the they've ID'd somebody... him five times. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. Yeah. They, they, tried. Tried. they tried. Yeah. I mean, every time a drone strike yeah. happened, like a, a Hellfire missile at something, <laughs> right? It was close by. They didn't kill him. He got That's true. Away. That's true. And so, like, yeah. obviously sweating for his life, like, while he's just out here trying to be a journalist. Yeah. You know, like, literally, I mean, yes, he does coordinate a lot with with uh with terrorists and whatnot but, but he's interviewing he's, them and, and documenting this yeah shit, that right? doesn't mean right. he's partaking and helping yeah, them develop strategies it's like no right. one's trying to kill christina Amanpour or whatever right right like no one's no one's got geraldo rivera in their fucking <laughs> sights because <laughs> nobody's trying to kill him for the empty uh al capone vault right, yeah, right. do y'all remember That's the al capone yeah. vault yeah. the empty yeah. <laughs> how is he still in news right yeah. now <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't the worst thing he did my favorite was was I think it was during the Afghanistan movements, like early on in September 11th, yeah. where he drew a map in the sand, like on live TV, showing where our troops are and shit. Yeah, Boy, yeah. Uh, you know, they, they kicked his ass off the of air for like two or three years. <laughs> yeah, like, that's true. That's yeah, true. no, man. Dude's giving okay, away so highly classified, like, troop movements. Like, just drawing just, in the sand. Talking, like, like sp- okay, our guys are over here, you know, like. <laughs> Right, right. Fucking, fucking idiot. Harold over there. <laughs> fucking idiot. idiot, dude. Every <laughs> goddamn time. I like him though. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. But but uh, yeah, man. Uh, those drone strikes. That what I was talking about with that. Like I, I'm all for your little biological warfare idea. I'm just but saying. I'm saying, and I'm not supporting drone strikes either. Like this. No, no. Either no, one. I mean, no, who that podcast is not supporting Obama either one of these. Fuck this up with these drone strikes. Right, right. Obama cranked that shit through the roof. Dude, that, became, <laughs> that came uh, soup du jour. Like that was every day. Right. Drone strikes. Five hundred and sixty a year or something like that. Yeah. And yeah, I, uh, I mean, yes. I'd say twenty five percent innocent death rate. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah, like yeah. Just, collateral. Yeah, but, but you know, it doesn't involve our soldiers, so that's good. Right. You that's know, true. That's cool. But we're just life is life. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're life just, is. We, life. We're just killing people. You just, yeah, whatever. Just no one gives yeah. a damn. They're just there numbers the on the box. screen. Right. Yep. I think Stalin said it best. One person dies is a tragedy. A million people die. It's just a number. Uh-huh. Like so, if the, if the numbers higher, if it's like twenty five percent innocent kill rate, well, how many is twenty five percent? I don't know, fifty thousand. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. It's, Who gives a shit? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, throw a different name on them. The you UN and I don't, have this, I, I don't have this number in front of me. The UN estimates that we've killed since the war in Iraq. We've killed some two hundred thousand mm-hmm. innocent people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. two hundred thousand. Yeah, two hundred people. Thousand. Yes. Yeah. Innocent people. That's, That's a lot of people. That is almost 100 9-11s. Mm. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah. That's a hell of a way to look at it. So, let's change gears a little bit yeah. here. The baby dropped the album? Yeah, the baby did drop it. <laughs> <laughs> the baby dropped an album. Young M.A. dropped an album. Kevin Gates, Gates dropped an album. Kanye West was supposed to drop an album on Friday, the, uh, the 27th, not. if you're listening to this. Uh, today is the 29th, and it's supposed to be coming out today. Um, if any of our viewers are watching, Google to see if he if it came out yet. It's supposed to be coming out like right now. Yeah, maybe it's out. Maybe it's out. It I might, haven't checked it. It might be today. out right now, for real. I had shit I had to do. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, which one did you review? Which one did you I listen listened to? to the baby, uh, Kirk, and then I listened to Kevin Gates, man. That's one of my favorite artists of all time. Uh, I'm him. Yeah, yeah, man, that's one of my favorite stuff. We both Aquarius. Oh, yeah, that album is hot as hell. It's man, it's so fucking good. Y'all talking about Gates? Yeah, Gates is good. The, but this is what he no, does. Man, is. A good album. This is I'll what he does with albums. If, if people keep up with Gates with his and what he does with his mixtapes and his albums, right? His albums have more melodies, more singy stuff. Right, yeah. right. Yes. Melodic rap. A, a lot of it. Yeah. And his mixtapes is just him, just fucking going ham. Yeah, rapping nonstop for four right, minutes. Right. <laughs> hey, here's just... what here's what I like. I liked it. I liked a couple tracks on it a lot. Um, what I didn't like is he just he didn't have not one feature in it, which 
And that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I I love when Gates and All-Star, because I don't hear enough All-Star anymore. You and know YB, what I mean? And YB is a classic, though. Yeah, I yeah. I already know which one you're talking about. So, like, for him, for no All-Star to pop up on there, I was like, oh, man. But, I mean, it's his, you know, it's his album. It's all, but, I, but I, I, like the, I like a little mixture in there. You know and, what I'm saying? I, I feel the exact same way. I felt yeah. like, because for his, uh, his first album, Eastland, he had no features. Right. Because he, he just wanted to see if he could do it by himself. Right. And I respect that. Your debut album, you just want to know I can stand on my own. Right. So then you get locked up. You get out. He put out three projects, like EPs, mixtapes. Right. Still no features. Right. Not not a fucking feature. Yeah. Anywhere. Wait, wait, how are you going to do mixtapes without features? Without, it, it, and once again, somebody, I'm like. Somebody get in here and have some fun. Exactly. Right. So I'm thinking, no. All right, you just got out. Of, just got out of the pen. You probably had a lot of these already written. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Probably, so sure, sure. So you didn't need a feature. You probably had all your verses already written. So I'm thinking, album time, you for sure got to get somebody on there with you. You're not gonna do like the first album. It's not the first album. You already went platinum by yourself. Right. You're gonna get somebody on there with you. Somebody. No features again. I'm like, especially and, and I love Gates, but dude, get somebody in there. Like, imagine the way that Gates raps if he got Eminem on some shit. Right, and they right. could just go verse for verse. Sure, so like, sure. you know how do you rap bar well, for bar? I mean, how they switch up and shit. Right, you know, right. ask Jay Z about that, man. You gotta, you wanna be careful about him. Yeah, 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 you're doing yeah. shit. You're about to yeah. get overshadowed. You are, but at least you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. But get somebody, somebody. Get somebody. Right, right, right. I mean, you could, I mean, hell, there's how many people are in the game that you could just fuck with, like, right, I mean, like right. Just somebody who's who's really on that level, like, like a Logic or Hobson or, how, or any, I mean, it, I feel like. Somebody Kendrick and find, Eminem on yeah, this Ken- this and Andre three thousand. Right? Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, Andre. Shit, for man. Sure. Even yeah. Anderson Pack brought Andre three thousand in for. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Like, Anderson Pack is dope. I, I really also, wish that, yeah, it was a little bit more features, man. Yeah. 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 So yes. this is what I don't understand either. Gates has they have their own regular what breadwinners, breadwinner association, yes. BWA. But I mean, what has he got? One artist signed. No, he got uh, B.W.A. Kane, then his O.G. Booby Black, then he got a DJ, there's uh, B.W.A. Ron, then I think he got one more person, but the only person that really, like, just be putting stuff out on a consistent basis is O.G. Booby Black. Right. The dude that be with him got the one arm. Oh, I know. I yeah. know. That's who I was talking about, the one oh. artist. But, it, yeah, it's just him and Gates, the only ones that be, like, real consistent. There's but a lot to, of uh, talent. Did you just call that cat the one armist? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 that's fantastic. You, you, you don't need both. We gotta go around. viral just based on that. Yeah. The, the, one, the, one, the, one, the one Yeah. But I feel like there's a lot of talent out here in the streets, and that they can, you know, you can bring on a little bit more than that. Maybe he doesn't want to, but. I just feel like there's so much more out there than me. I just perform. Here it is. Sign me. Sign me. I just perform. I killed it last night. But he was going to be on your feature anyway. You're just cutting him in. Right. Just giving him a paycheck. Here's here's 25 grand. Get on this song. You know, like come on, just jump on. I got you, man. I do for free. Not, I won't. So okay. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. It's like, man, I can't rap for shit. But I'll tell you what. You be twenty five grand. I'm gonna put you on with like at least eight bars are gonna be hot. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. got some Doctor Seuss for your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the young, baby had okay. Kevin Gates. I'm sorry. Yes, I saw that. The baby had Kevin, Kevin Gates featured on his shit. shit. Yeah. Why but, didn't you put that nigga on your shit? shit? Right. Thank you. Yes. So which one? Which project did you like the most? Um. So I listened. I listened to Young and May. I listened to Kevin Gates. And I listened to the baby. Here's the thing, like everybody is on board with the baby, and the baby it's cool. I like it. I like the charisma and, and the tracks and yeah, everything yeah, like whoa, whoa, whoa. that. Watch, watch your step though, because I really love. I stand for the man. <laughs> <laughs> I like this so, shit a lot. Real. I I feel like the street cred outweighs the music in a way though. A lot of people fuck with him because of the street cred because he caught that body at Walmart, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I and he beat that man ass in the Louis stuff. I mean. Have y'all seen him? No. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did you see seen that. He, I haven't seen that one though. He beat a man's ass on while recording himself. Yeah, That's he was awesome. live. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he beat a man's ass in the Louis Vuitton store. Look, right. check this out. Irony. The dude was there to get a belt, right? To buy right. a Louis uh, belt. Yeah, yeah. Saw the baby start egging him on. The baby beat his ass so bad that his pants fell down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, that is. Oh, yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. 
But I'm sorry, keep going, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, here's the thing about Young and May's project. There's a lot of tracks there. Yes. But nothing stood out. And I kind of felt the same way about the Baby's album. Nothing, nothing stood out? Nothing stood out to the point where it really, like, wow, it went to a playlist. Nothing went to a playlist. Yeah. No. Oh, you know I what like I mean? the way you put that. Yeah. Nothing no, was like, fair. oh, that's definitely going on this playlist. No, man. Gates at least got facts sent to the playlist. Mm-hmm. But, like, the other two... Now, don't get me wrong. The Baby's she... album is a solid album. Young and Mains, it kind of just just keeps going and going. And and it's not I was anything. expecting more from, from her, for real. Yeah? You know, well, because she she made us wait. You remember uh, the girl that had that um that Ooh song, like, two years ago? You know ago? who Young and Mains is? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. So she finally put out her album. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, she blew up like two years right. ago. Yeah, but you I, call I her Stephanie. Yeah. Y'all yeah. call her Heffany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was dope, though. Like, this shit was hard. Yeah. So you, you make us wait two years, though, after that, to do your album. And I can understand you got to put together full body of work. Right. But you motherfucking better wow me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, 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 bitch, you ain't Tool. Exactly. Right, <laughs> right. You oh, spend, yeah. Tool you did drop an yeah, album. Say, it's you fantastic. Can't, you can't spend 13 <laughs> years making your fans wait for an album and then, like, put out fucking gold yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. new tool album fear inoculum was i mean a masterpiece right an absolute to, masterpiece. i need to listen to this because i was in the studio when i was uh doing a crunch time for right, the show. right i'm in the studio and i'm recording there's a chicken and she's drunk and she just kept on fucking mentioning tool she like do you know tool i was like i don't know any tools i, don't, I didn't bring any tools you need a hammer yeah. what you, what i was like I, like for? legit like i'm in there smoking i'm, I'm smoking it so yeah. i'm like no, no. Oh, like, yeah. why do you I keep talking about? You talking about conspiracy it's, theories and shit? Right. You need to listen to Tool. Am I? Yeah, and I'm just, just Tool time. Am I Al Boylan? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? She was like, "It's a great band," and I was like, "Okay." She was like, "No, you would love them." I was like, "What?" I she was like, "No, you need to listen to Tool." And the whole time, like, I'm doing my own thing. I'm, I'm recording, so I'm like, "Yeah, okay, whatever." Yeah, yeah. And so I just put it out my mind. But the fact that you guys brought it up, who the fuck is Tool? Okay. Uh, Tool was like a, a prog like metal band. Okay. Um, shit, they've been around since at least the nineties. And that's uh, what they was telling me. But, but, uh, but yeah, so they they so became they waited thirteen. Oh, dude! But what, them and Rage Against the Machine basically were like the two defining prog rock bands of their time. Okay. Um, but they're they became infamous for the fact that they don't put albums out really. Right, like, uh, uh, and then also, how long let me make us wait for ten thousand days? Is uh, like another thing they were against. Let me jump in here real quick. Mm-hmm. Is they were also against streaming their albums mm-hmm. because they felt like it would just like take a song from here and there, and that they felt like their albums was one big art piece that was to be listened from beginning to end. Yep, and that's how they design their albums. Well. Yeah, now. Oh, wow. The funny thing is, they, I mean, you couldn't find it on Spotify or anything no, for yeah, a long no, they, time. They, they refused to let that shit Right. Happen. Then they waited, they let their fans wait all this time, and then they just released everything on Spotify. Just like, yeah. Brrr, just brrr. Like two weeks yeah. or so before they yeah. dropped the album, the new album. But I mean, again, their album before this, 10,000 Days, came out in 2006, I think. Yeah. They made us wait 13 years for another album. 13 years, dude. Yeah. And then they dropped fire, so it was good. Uh, but yo, they, yeah, but they yeah, also... But like, yeah. like, I had a kid. Right. But yeah, but right before the album... He's in the fourth out, grade like, right now. Like, everyone, everyone talked for like two years, the last two years, about when this album's going to come out, no one's releasing a release date, whatever, whatever. They announced a release date, and like three days later they're like oh hey by the way our entire catalogs are about to stream and shit yeah we're finally releasing we're putting everything. it all on iTunes like yeah. everybody's got it you know what happened Spotify. that money probably you wanna that know what money. happened somebody walked in on a, on, a, on a meeting had the band in there <laughs> with all them artistic asses and I understand I'm an artist I get it so they're all in there artistic minded and everything like no we're gonna stand for the whole collection Somebody in there with the numbers and what everybody else doing right, screens right. came in, yeah. set them up on the tables like, fuck everything your artistic mind wants to do. Right, right. Like, Here's bitch, you get These are the numbers bad, <laughs> was it bad baby is doing? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. But, 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 but at the same time, like uh, uh, Tool had a Perfect Circle. Was their other band? Yeah, they had they had they like had a band, like but... a sister band. Well, not a sister band. Yeah, were... pretty much. Though. Yeah, like, yeah. Almost everybody was wait, in. Wait. I, yeah, I got into Perfect Circle before I got into Tool. Then I got into Tool. Like, wait, so is Perfect Circle had the same members or something? Yeah. Yeah, not all. Not all of them, but like the the singers, the same guy, Maynard, yeah. uh, Maynard Keenan, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so on his off time, that. you can do that. When you're yeah, in a rock oh, band, yeah. you can do shit like that. Wow. Yeah. You could be like, so, yeah, I'm the guitarist for Rage Against the Machine, but I'm also the yeah, guitarist. Tom Morello. Yeah, yeah. Like, Tom Morello. Like, I mean, he's got his own band. He's right. got his own solo. Zach actually. Wild. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, dude. <laughs> so, you cannot do that in the hip hop community. No, you can't be a part <laughs> yeah, of. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Good yeah. mob, Dungeon Family. Ooh! Oh, yes, I'm with thousand CeeLo. Like, what are you talking about? Man. Yes, you can. I'm doing it off of one fucking squad. This man is fucking yes, you. Yes, you are fucking right. You should Damn it. And in my head, before I said you can't do that, in my mind, I did a quick check like, no, nah, you can't. Yeah. Oh, always, then, always actually, and then out of nowhere, you was just like, I be damn. Like, always, good I was mind. actually, we were, we were talking about uh, songs that get stuck in your head. Uh, yesterday I woke up and I was telling my girlfriend Carter this uh, yesterday I woke up with uh, CeeLo's Child's Play with Ludacris right. mm -hmm. stuck in my head like mm -hmm. just blasting in my head like I'm, I'm still trying to sleep it's early in the morning I'm over but here but now you like, gotta hear it yes I'm the best you know mm -hmm. like just I'm just fucking jamming to it in my head like and I yep I had to listen to it all to. damn day you got to man. <laughs> I had to it was, I was blowing me up I hadn't heard that song in probably a decade but like Dude. I'm still remembering all the lyrics and, that I'm just, and quiet as kept Ludacris is one of the most underrated great MCs ever. oh yeah, oh, yeah. Ludacris is his, his the way his flow is everything fits a rhyme scheme everything just, makes sense no words are made up it know, tells the story all at the same it, time and it's his uh, delivery yes it's delivery. what it is it's like when he's dropping the end of the couplet yeah. that Bro. shit smacks every time yeah. every time man yep yep bro that one intro man just it, as a at, I was way too young but just hearing, I got permission to put your mama in a headlock. Lock, yeah. <laughs> she the person that put me in a figure four leg lock. Yeah. Oh, bro. I was like, who the fuck uh, is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's everything he, but everything he delivers, every couplet. Like, yeah. it's the end of that second, that second, second line bar? always Bop. smacks, dude. Yes. Yeah. He's always there with it. Dude, it was, right. it was. That's what makes him iconic. Ludicrous Snoop Dogg. Sticky Fingers and Eminem were my top, like, four. Of course, Tupac. So, yeah. my top five. That was my top five for, like, the longest. Ludacris and Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I was just, in my mind, I was like, there's, there's nobody killing them. There's, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the same time, I was over here listening to Goody Mom and shit. And I was over here listening to CeeLo when CeeLo was rapping. Y'all yeah, sleeping on Busta Rhymes. What's Yo, right? Right? Oh, no. Ain't nobody sleep. Yeah, Wait a minute. Right about oh, yeah. that, bro. Ain't nobody sleep on Look, Busta. if y'all want to hear... An excellent piece of Come music. On. Hold Come on. on. If y'all want to hear an excellent on. piece of music, please go listen to Busta Rhymes. It, on the track, it'll say Busta Rhymes, Kanye West. It'll say um, Lil, Wayne. Lil Wayne and Q-Tip. But really, only Busta Rhymes and Q-Tip rap on that track. And that's all that's needed. Yeah, and the song is called Thank You. So if you want to yes. listen to a fine piece of... You want to hear people just spitting, spitting, spitting. Spitting, listen to that track. Them niggas is spitting on that track, okay? Buster doesn't fuck around. Yeah. Uh, man, was a, uh, I can't remember what the collab was. Somebody put a, a, a Buster album with, I think, some video game music or something. Oh, like. really? Yeah, and that shit is was so... It, you talking about the Ocarina of Rhyme? Yes. Yeah, it's the that Ocarina of so Rhyme. Fine. Yes. It, they took the Zelda music and they mixed it with some Buster, a Buster Rhyme track. It's called the Ocarina of Rhyme from the game. The Ocarina that shit of Time. is so oh. fine. That whole album is so fun. Yeah. That's a fire mashup album. And then um, the Jay-Z and the Link Beatles. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the Beatles. That was the, the, gray album. Said that the Gray album. The Gray album. That's, that's how Good luck Miles, finding it, though. That's it how Danger Mouse got with CeeLo and we got Norris Barkley. Yes. Yep. That's, that's true. because CeeLo heard the Gray album and was like, this is hot as shit. I yeah, it was hot. It was hot as the Gray album? Yep. CeeLo CeeLo heard that shit and like he'll it's tell you all about it. He was like, yo, I didn't know who this cat was. Danger Mouse hot as shit. He was like, I heard the Grey album and I was like, I need to collab with this dude. Yeah. And so they did and that's how Nara Sparkly was born. Yeah. Holy shit. Yup. Wow. Right. Speaking of fire-ass collabs, Nara Sparkly. Yeah, Nars yeah, Barkley. yeah. Like, crazy Nars was good, but man, there's so many. There's so many. Look, I played so my many. daughter Great, some Great. of the music. 
front of it, and she was like, "What is this?" I knew <laughs> you know? oh, <laughs> she man. was. She said, Transformer was my favorite. I yeah, like yeah, that was, was my shit. CeeLo so. Green, period. Man. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah we what about this track he did with yeah. Don Tripp when they put him on there on the uh, what let, was it? Let, is it Letter to My Son or wasn't that? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. yeah. Son. That's that. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. Speaking of Dungeon Family uh-uh. and, and <laughs> shit, my jam that will forever be my jam to this day yeah. is Trans DF Express. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If, uh, if you guys don't know that, just look up Trans DF Express on YouTube. Make sure yeah. you do the dirty version. You might want to type dirty. Yeah, yeah. Don't but like, it is. Version. Holy shit. It's CeeLo, Big Boy, Andre 3000. I mean, it's basically half of Goody Bomb, which is a dungeon family. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That shit is so hot. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Favorite lines ever where he says, I am the one and only son of a machine gun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like, and that's how basically how the, the song actually starts with, with the Kim Ryan and CeeLo. CeeLo opens that bitch and he's just killing it. Yeah. Man, Goody mm. Mob's whole soul food album just like makes me a better person. Right, right. <laughs> All right, wait, back to the actual the, the album reviews of what's coming right, out. Yeah, sorry about that, gentlemen. No, I mean, that was great. That was great. Y'all need to go look up uh, Thank You, Trains DF Express, Charles Barkley. No, and... Charles Barkley. Oh, uh, yeah, what'd I say? Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, which, if you Google Charles Barkley, you Charles? will not be disappointed with that say, either. You will, you will probably see some wild ass. Yeah, shit. googling Charles Barkley will also be entertaining <laughs> as fuck. Speaking okay, of okay. Got Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of somebody who's got Alzheimer's. Right, right. <laughs> well, no, look, Barkley. y'all. What about? I want y'all. If y'all get a chance, I want y'all to Google. Oh, what is that? What is the track with Shaquille O'Neal and Big Pun? <laughs> uh, lyrical. Cool. Was it lyrical fit? No, no. lyrically fit. Lyrically fit. Lyrically Lyr- fit. Uh, you, uh, I w- did, my mind was type blown. In Shaq, big pun, and they'll come up. Yes, I was like, big pun type did in. a track with Shaq. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, not only that, but Shaq killed that shit. Yeah, hilarious <laughs> to me. Yeah. Like, it was kind of like when Nicki Minaj killed Monster too, though. I'm sure it would be Kanye. They surprised that for me. Yeah. I'm sure this. I'm sure that someone wrote that shit for Shaq. Shaq ain't like that fucking. Well, no, Shaq had, didn't have terrible. It was like it was nah. just the idea was Shaq. But that it was, was bad. But it was better when when Shaq was doing it. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was better than the shit Shaq put out. That that yeah, that yeah. Shaq was hot. But Shaq, another track he had. He's got a track with uh, Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, yeah, he do. Yeah, and that track is slick bumping too. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, sure. that's I think funny. He wrote that verse for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta show love to people. I know, that's like um, I got you. But it's the same thing with Nicki again. Like Nicki so, Minaj um, had that dope. What you saying? You want me to do these bars? I did it. How many other people have songs with Big Pun and and uh, Notorious B.I.G.? I can answer that question. Jay Z does. Yeah, <laughs> you got a song Big Pun. Yeah, fuck yeah. What was the name of that song? I have to look it up. I, have, oh I don't know. Oh, my God. I didn't know he had a song Big Pun. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, man. Jay got a song Big Pun, yo. Let me what? Here. Wait, no, wait. Uh, I need I more know, in my life. I might be fucking up. like the Big L and Big Pun and, and, and Jay-Z. Uh, Jay-Z. I think he did have a track with him, though. Uh, Big Pun. Big Pun. No, no. Oh, this might be some genius. beef. There it is. Oh, no. Is it genius? No. No, no, no. That's a no, 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 no. Let's go to YouTube. Y'all just keep talking. I'm gonna keep yeah, going. yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I could be wrong about that. Yeah. And I want to correct myself because I know that Jay Z and Big L had a freestyle battle. Oh my hot. God! Yes, that yeah, shit was hot. But it's one of those classic I, like uh, like you man, just I felt like Big Pun and Jay Z had a song. Jay Z has been part of a lot of like those iconic you mm-hmm. hear abouts. Did, have you heard, ever heard about the the uh, the battle between him and DMX before they were both signed? No. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yeah, no, there uh, is no, no track. No, yeah, I was thinking of no track. And then there it is, the bottom too. Uh-huh. That shit was. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, it was Big L, man. I'm sorry yeah. about that. No, it's yeah. no, okay. Hey, yo, Big L though. That Big L was hot as shit too. Man. You, you, you fuckers online don't know about Big L. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about no Big L. Yeah. And, and I bet I see no comments trying to talk about. It. Oh yeah, I know. No, you fucking don't. You nah, don't. Man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big L was hot with it, bro. I Ooh, mean, nah. just oh, wow. this past week. Okay. I went on a Wu Tang binge. Okay. Oh, watching the show. I watched the documentary. Right. Four part documentary. Oh, how was the documentary? I haven't done that yet. Was it good? Bro, it's amazing. I cried. Yeah. You cried? Oh, I, I did not know how much I loved Old Dirty Bastard until <laughs> I had to look back 
Because I remember what, seeing his MTV special when he got out of jail. Right. And I remember like my, my cousins playing his album and everything mm. and all, and all yeah, that. Yeah, my, my dude's over here now just like crying and singing to himself. Bro. Hey. But as hey. they tell the story, <laughs> they tell the story of uh of the whole Wu Tang, right? Right. Yeah, what they did was his his um getting out of jail, leaving mm. Wu Tang, signing with Rockefeller, you know he was Dirk mm-hmm. McGurk and mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, yeah. And him yeah. passing away. Behind the scenes, that coincided with the exact same time everybody left Wu Tang Records. Oh wow! So the same time that that they're showing like this the old MTV footage of him on the phone arguing mm-hmm. like, "No, I want out of my contract." They got the interviews of RZA like, "Yeah, Method Man left." Yeah, and then Ghostface like, went out. Know. Then it cuts back to, to to you hear the audio of, of ODB, and then after that whole episode, and this is not a spoiler, this, so don't worry. But after that whole episode of them like that cut of back mm-hmm. and forth. Then it's like, then you know, we get word. They found him face down in the studio, and then it just hits you like, damn, holy shit, what he died right after this shit, like fuck. But it's amazing. Then I start watching the show, which is on Hulu, uh, the Wu Tang side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess They're it. gonna win awards, man. You think, you think so? so? Oh my god, yes. They're definitely getting some Emmys. Yeah, definitely for huh. TV shows. And this makes me feel good to know that Wu Tang getting some awards. But I, I'm so sure because it's it's based on a true story. Yeah. They have animation involved in it. Right. It's musical. Right. Mm-hmm. And it tells a story uh, uh, of, like, you know, minorities, the other side of the tracks right. coming from poverty yeah, yeah. type thing. It's just too many elements in it to for it to not. I'm confused on how there was ever a Wu Tang at fucking all, a period. They almost killed each other four times. Yeah. Oh, oh right. yeah, shit, dude. Yeah. Dude. Like they, well, I mean, the fact that they're even friends, there's some shit that where no, I wouldn't. Even, there's yeah. no coming back. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this is why you got only built for Cuban links. It's, yeah, it's, it's my fucking album. <laughs> but uh, uh, the I shit. actually went. I was going to tell that was that uh, they did the 20th anniversary of that. Uh, the Ghostface and Raekwon. Yeah, yeah. I went to that shit in Nashville. For real, dope, dope. It was so awesome. Yeah, wow. that shit was so good. Godly, they like the whole album out too. Like. The whole thing. Ah, oh, oh, so fuck. Right. You know what got me uh, more into the only Bill for Cuban Links? When he came back a few years ago and he did two. Mm-hmm. And I, I, of course, everybody knows the legend of Raekwon, the chef. Right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, he's a, just a legend. Right. So, like, I heard the only Bill for Cuban Links 2. And that was the first time I just listened to the, pro- like, a Raekwon project all the way through. Mm-hmm. Right. And I was just like, damn. Oh, my God. This yeah. is the sequel? I gotta go back and find the first one. Right. And then that took Then you get Ghostface with it too, though. A whole album featuring a whole other artist. Like, dope. And then it just it just elevated everything for me. And that's when I really went down the rabbit hole. No, man, I'll tell you, Ghostface is one of the most. I always hesitate to choose one of my favorite members of Wu Tang. Mm. ODB always does it for me just because yeah. I like his gangster shit. Like, ODB shit. was my shit. Ooh, baby, but, I like but, 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 but uh but but Ghostface Consistently over the last 20, 30 years, has just laid hot fire. Whether you want to go from Iron time. Man all the way up to uh, uh, oh, what's my project? Fish Scale. Yeah, you remember Fish Scale? Mm-hmm. Fucking classic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. He's always he laid down shit. Just um, damn it, he's good. I mean, everybody knows, you know, Man. Method shit, you yeah. know. Right, right. And, and like, and, yeah, Ray. And, I mean, no disrespect, I love Method. Right, yeah. But, nah, but yeah. Uh, Ghostface and ODB are my two guys. That's my guy. like, uh, but going in that rabbit hole, man, you know who's my favorite member? Mm. Well, uh, ODB, off rip. Off rip is ODB. But yeah. favorite living member, mm. Jizzle. Yeah. yeah. Liquid Swords. Yeah, boy. Is a testament to lyrics, knowledge, and production. Right. My God, man. My God, man. <laughs> My God. I, I bought it, and then, it, I, this is how much I love it. I bought it, switched Apple IDs, and bought it again. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that shit is amazing. <laughs> this reminds me of Chris Rock shit off of uh, the Kanye album, of My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy or whatever. Oh. Where he's like, I'm going to shoot the bootlegger. That's how good this man got me feeling. I'm buying an album. I'm buying an album. He said, who? I'm going to shoot a bootlegger. Who put new new, new sofas in this pussy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeezy did it. I got to thank that nigga Yeezy. Yeezy reupholstered my pussy. Yeah. 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 Shit been reupholstered. Yeah. Who reupholstered this pussy? 
Uh, <laughs> speaking of albums that are classics, start to finish, that's my favorite Kanye. Album. Oh yes, by yeah. far, by <laughs> that's far, it. That by whole, far, that whole, by yeah. far, yes. Well, look, and I by love, far? I by love far. college by dropout. Far. I love late registration. I like that graduation. Mm -hmm. But my beautiful dark twist of fantasy yep. was a fucking masterpiece. It is. Start it, to finish. It, it is. Put it I'm on. Put it on. Let it happen, and that's it. Yep. Start Between to finish. that one and eight oh eight, bro. 808s is really good. Yeah. But 808s like, just... 808 is its own What's, kind of mood. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, ooh, but you, you can fix that mood up. Like this is, I feel like my beautiful like dark a... twist of fantasy is the graduation Kanye meets 808s. Mm -hmm. And then he just took a little break just to see how all this mixed together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then after that, he just got no, wait, Well, he followed it up. He followed it up with Jay-Z with Watch the Throne. Which I... Watch the Throne is yeah. pretty good. It, it, no, it's, it's, there's, I mean, there's a lot of bangers on it, but it's again, it's not one of those albums that you want to start finish. finish with. Yeah, you know, like there's a couple songs I'm like, I'm just not gonna listen to that. Right. Yeah, Fuck it. yeah, yeah. Right. You know. But, All right, start to finish. I gotta give you my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is probably yeah. That's yeah. it's one where you just it starts out, you just let it roll, and it can go What's all the way to the end. And finish it, Ooh. Ooh. Start Cause my beautiful out. dark twisted fantasy is really fucking. Well, I mean, how much time you got? Cause uh, honestly, uh, life after death is one that I would put out there. Yeah, I love from you. you could what was it? Uh, like, the, the really I is. Love you. That's a long ass album. But it don't fucking matter. But yeah, but it bangs the whole way through. No. The, what's the Childish way. Gambino album with Redbone on it? Oh, oh uh, Awaken My Love. Yeah, yeah awaken. from top to fucking bottom, man. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> yes. Man. <laughs> we went to, uh, Carter, and, uh, Carter and I went to that concert. It is the best concert I've ever been to in my life. You wow. went to the concert? Like, hands down. Vince Staples opened for him, so that was cool, oh, too. Fuck but, yes. like, but no, the theatrics, like the light show, the shit going on, Ooh. the the show yeah. that he put on, is like, amazing. That dude. shit was incredible. Not, it, bro. Start to finish, best you, concert I've what, ever been to. Did he perform Baby Boy uh, when he was talking about his son? Maybe. Do you know the song I'm talking about? I don't. I hope everybody looks this up. It's the only song, because you know, like, women always make songs about like raising kids by themselves yeah, yeah. and stuff. It's the only song that I heard a man talk about the stress or the worry of the of not having his son around. You know what I'm saying? Of not being able to be in his life, that type hmm. of thing. And it was just exactly it's such a it was such an interesting concept to me. I don't think he played that. That I was just like. I'm like, whoa, I've never heard a dude like at least go on wax and make a whole song yeah, about it. Yeah. And that's when he won me over. I was like, wow, you're really not, you're not scared to be vulnerable at all. Yeah. Right. Like, that dude is fucking yeah, good. Yeah, no, man, Awaken My Love, that album. Yeah. That, speaking of, we were talking about the albums that are bangers, start to finish, classic. Yep. Put it on anytime you want. Yep. All right, I'm done. Yeah, fuck the next hour. Like, I listen to this album. Right, right. You want to hear some fucked up shit? So, Awaken My Love, we all love it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. My mom, who put me on a P Funk, Prince, all of all of this stuff, just ignore it. It don't matter. Whoever's trying to call me, stop. Uh, don't don't say that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, I you know. Were, you, were, you were talking about your yeah, mom, P Funk, yeah. all that. So it's put me on P Funk, on on Prince, on all old school. I did I didn't hear rap until I was nine. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> so she put me on all this shit. I'm like, yo, awaken my love. Look it up. You'll love it. Right? You, mm -hmm. You're thinking yeah, in your head. Yeah. Duh. She hates it. Really? She said it is. It, it's just, she was like, it, it sounded like he was playing the whole time. She was like, she was like, he, did, he didn't take it far enough. She was like, it sounded like he was influenced by the old school, but he just ain't go all the way. I was like, what are you talking about? I like the like, very you, first you, song. Number one, you can't go all the way anyway. Man, you know it's what? 2019. <laughs> <laughs> but she hated it. I, I don't. I don't even. I feel bad because I'm about to say this, but I don't like your mama. Oh, <laughs> like, oh no! I, 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 oh I, I, no! I don't, I don't no. think about this woman, but that's the worst first impression I've ever. <laughs> put you on with the classics and shit, and you're like, yo. And then put, I give you a classic. And then I put you on with the, the the hottest shit to come out in the last few years. Yo, and doesn't and, like and it. Doesn't like it. She likes red bone, and that's it. Well, I mean, everybody likes red. Bone. Like top to bottom, know? doesn't like. Any of that. It is a little avant-garde. So, but okay, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to give your mom a little bit of credit. But if you're the one that you're bumping fucking P Funk and yeah, vacuuming, right, right. It's, right. Not like she, it's not like she's listening to Frank Zappa and shit. It's not right. that avant-garde. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, no, that album is a little avant-garde in the idea that it 
it's not always melodic. It's a lot mm-hmm. of like you know. Uh, you got to be there for you got to sit with noise it. and things. Has him and Anderson uh, Pack made any tracks yet? Oh my God! I, wish. I don't think so. But I, I don't think so. I think one of us will know that. Look, that's that's one out. If they could do a collab album, Yo, that's something the world needs. I don't have my phone. And then this. I put that post up about how the world needs a um, Missy a, Elliott Busta Rhymes yes. collab album. Yep. And yeah, then, that's what I'll, And when you brought Bust up, that's exactly what I was thinking yep. too. Is when you posted that shit, I was like. Yes. yes, that would be great. Yes. The music oh, videos alone would be the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the production. Oh, yeah. If Timbaland uh, knew that Busta Rhymes and Missy was about to rap over whatever beat he made, I don't even know where Timbaland's been. But he has to be. Dusting oh, he's still off. dropping shit. He's He'll be dusting shit. shit off. He'll be yeah, blowing he'll be. off fucking albums, bro. He'll be sampling shit and man. Definitely. I yeah. mean, he Yo. hands down. Yeah, but that was that was true. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. So okay, look, we're gonna change directions one more time for the last little section here. We got about twenty minutes left. We have an attorney here, so oh. let's talk some attorney shit, okay? All right. Yeah. All right. What do you guys? Want Quick to know? question. Go I ahead. I saw on Facebook uh, on my timeline uh, just yesterday. If police smell marijuana, does that give them enough probable cause to search? Okay. That's a loaded question because probable cause is the standard they need to search your vehicle. You're talking about searching a vehicle, right? Yes. Uh, no, what they need is reasonable suspicion, which is okay. a lower level than probable cause. And yes, that is enough reasonable suspicion, Damn. which is bullshit. Well, they're starting because to... they're just gonna lie and just be like, "Yeah, I smell weed." Well, I think it yes. was in was it in the shit happens all the time. They do the same thing with DUIs. Oh, you smell like booze. Right. Yeah, right. step out the car. You know, yeah, yes. and bullshit. You know, like right. you smell anything. My favorite thing to do, and I don't want to give this game away too much for uh, any law enforcement listening to this because I don't want to move. Yeah, this, yeah, go ahead. My go favorite ahead. thing to do during uh, uh, hearings for this kind of stuff is when they say, oh, I smelled alcohol. I'm like, well, you realize that alcohol is odorless, right? It doesn't have a smell. Right. So what kind of alcohol did you smell? Did you smell tequila? Did you smell gin? Did right. you smell beer? You know, right. like, what are you talking about? What kind of alcohol did you smell? Yeah, right. What did you smell? You said you smelled alcohol, but alcohol doesn't smell like anything. What, right. what are you talking about? Like, so what alcohol what did, you did you smell? Right. What brand? What was it? Yeah, well, I don't need a brand. But, yeah, but, yeah. You know, what, what kind like, did you smell? You know, yeah. like, I mean, yeah. whiskey smells very different from beer. Right. You know? What did you smell? Yeah, That's what did a good you smell? What, what kind That's of alcohol great. are you talking about? What do you think? Uh, I like that. Throws them through a loop. What do you think the best advice you could give from a, a legal counsel to our listeners right now is? Don't no, talk about Because we were talking about this video earlier. Uh, right. Hey, if you, or, or from a criminal law perspective specifically, right, right, but if right. you are in an interaction with any kind of cop or anything, and it may even be suspected you've done something wrong, right? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, I, I mean I'm serious. Like, shut the fuck. So up. So how far do we take this? Shut the I fuck mean, up. I mean, like, take it all the, all way. the fucking way. So take, let's hold on. Let's let's uh... cooperate. Cooperate with what people are doing. You know, okay. like you don't want to. You know. If the cops like get out of the car, you don't want to sit there and try and fight them because I mean, hell, you might get your ass shot. Right. But but you know, cooperate. But don't say anything. Right. You don't say shit. Nothing. Right. And if they really want to ask you a question and they want to keep pushing you with something, just say I'm not answering questions without my attorney present. Right. Boom. Done. Don't say another word after that. Right. If you really feel the need, give them your name and your address. Yeah. And that's only if you feel the need. Yeah. If you want to. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna, shit. they're gonna end up taking your wallet off you or whatever, and, and find that anyway. But so, yeah, yeah, give, give, you know, if they ask your name, give them your name. But like, don't say anything else. You don't have to talk about where you're going. You know, cops like, where are you driving to? That's right. not your fucking business. Right. right. You know, it's not your business. Yeah. Well, you don't have to say it like that because it, it's rude. Right. You have gotta help. But, but you just basically just sort of says like, I, I don't want to answer. Yeah. Like right. I don't feel like answering. Oh, just point to the compass and be like, I'm, I'm headed north. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm headed like, north. You don't have to answer any of that. I mean, yeah. the easiest way to claim up is to say, look, officer, I'm just not going to answer questions without an attorney present. Right. And, and, they, and that's it. They they so what happens the... What happens from there? Not to cut okay. you off. So, so they may continue asking questions. Yeah. You still shouldn't answer them. No. However, theoretically, and I mean, again, this is going to all depend on what judges want to do down the road, whatever, whatever. But Supreme right. Court precedent says... Once you've said those magic words, you've lifted the shield of the Fifth Amendment, and anything you say after that can't be used against you. Right. Because mm. you already said, I don't want to talk to you without an attorney present. That's supposed to make them stop questioning you. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, if they keep going and you answer stuff, 
That's on you. Mm-hmm. I right. wouldn't do it. No, again, shut the fuck up. No, you, know? you got to deal still, with that still shit. Be quiet, but theoretically, now, that stuff shouldn't be admissible in court. Now, okay, for the viewers that is listening to this right now, okay, this isn't advice when you get pulled over for speeding. This isn't advice when you run a stop sign. Okay, we're talking about advice when when shit gets cranked up just a little bit yeah, higher. Yeah, well, and not only that, but this, and, and I want to make this absolutely clear, this is not real legal advice. I mean, yes, I'm telling you my understanding of things, but I'm not giving this to anybody as actually officially legal advice. Right. right. This, this is just my opinion on the way things are going. Yes. And I'm not advising anyone on their own case. Like, obviously, we're not talking. Right. This is not to be concerned or not to be construed. This is not to be actual, fucking quoted. Just yeah, say it. Do not, not quote James McVeigh on this shit, this okay? This is not to be construed as actual legal. In advice. the words of Eze, e and don't quote me, bitch, because I ain't said this shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Goddamn right. There it is. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, but, yes, like we were just saying is... Uh, it, it, it really is more for when things have become elevated a little bit. Right. Now, keep in mind that your traffic stops, you ran a red light, you're speeding. Right. Yes. That shit's how it gets escalated in the first place. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like, and it happens real fast. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't answer, you know, like a cop pulled you up for speeding, you knew you're doing 10 over or whatever. I wouldn't come right out of the gate refusing to do anything. That's me. You know, That's well, me. I mean, and you can, but I... I've had problems. Well, yeah, it doesn't but work. I, but I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't, no, I'd, don't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't... I still, I still recommend that you be very cautious with what we're saying about anything. Yes. But I mean, but giving them your ID and your insurance registration That's okay. Stuff, that's okay. But I, you know, I that's told fine. you... But, but anytime they ask a I question, even window. if you... Again, a speeding ticket or something, mm-hmm. where are you going? Where I want that to. Way. You know, that way. I was right. driving north on 31. You know, it... That's where I was going. Right. Okay. You don't really have, I mean, you have absolutely zero requirement to answer any question. You don't have to answer shit. Right. They can't force you to answer. Has there ever been a situation where you were glad your client talked to the cops before you got there? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Nothing's sending out right out of my mind. (laughs) Um, Take that as a lesson, people. Think about it. Um... No, no, nothing's, mm-hmm. nothing's going to actually pop off with that. Um, I, I have had clients who kind of diffused with what was going on, and and they really Maybe fucked easier. up, and but they, they did themselves a favor by cooperating a little bit, you know. Yeah. I've had that happen. They're still going to eat a charge and shit. But, right. But the other end of that is you didn't you didn't have to do that, and if you if you hadn't done it, you may not be eating anything. Right, yeah. right, exactly. right, right. Exactly, right. Exactly. Okay. Um, what is a misconception that people have about attorneys? They lie, all of them. <laughs> we don't actually lie. And, and, and that's funny, but uh, they may lie to their clients, and that's unethical and shitty, and that just it makes you a bad person. Right? Yeah. But attorneys don't actually lie in court. I mean, people say this all the time. Like, attorneys are lying in court. Right. No. Um, if you can prove an attorney lied in court, they committed perjury, and you can actually lose your law license. Right. Us. We don't lie in court. What we do is we spin facts. Right. Uh, I can take one fact and make it look completely the other direction and right. never lie about it. Right. Mm. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of the perspective. Art of, that's kind of the art of of of, uh, of being a lawyer in that sense. Is that attorneys don't lie. What they'll do is they'll misdirect and, and, and change. I mean, shit, if you want a perfect example of it, just go back and watch the last two years of Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, being the what House press secretary for Donald Trump. Right, <laughs> right, right. She didn't lie. She, nope. she, she never didn't lied. She anymore. just didn't tell the whole truth exactly. and, right. and spun shit. Right. Which is what her job was. Right. right. So she's doing the job great. Yeah, well, and, and I've talked about that plenty right. of times, but so uh, in different contexts. But yeah, go ahead. With being a, with being a lawyer... Mm-hmm. And with having to deal with people, what is the most frustrating type of client to have to deal with? Clients who lie to me ah, drives okay. me fucking crazy. Mm. Yeah, and they uh, and that's like and the I'm last trying, person you really want to lie I'm not to. Trying to disparage any of my clients right now, but there's probably about a ninety percent rate of clients they all lie to you. I mean, yeah. like most of them will lie at some point. They lie yeah. about something. They right. don't understand how ironclad attorney-client privilege is. Right. And how seriously that's taken. Yeah. I mean, that shit is locked down. Uh, 
an, an attorney who, who divulges any of your secrets, unless you're imminently about to kill somebody or something like that. Right. Which, which, at which point you can ride on a client if you if you suspect they're about to commit murder or something like right. that. But, but, but otherwise, that, they cannot can't tell can't nobody. divulge anything. Well, now, there are other ethical requirements like say, okay, uh, yeah, I murdered all these people and you're representing them in these murder cases. Like, yeah. you are ethically fucked on that one because you can't <laughs> forward evidence that they didn't do it when you know they did it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. but on the other end of that, and it depends on how you want to look at it as far as an attorney goes, no one's going to know that they confess that to you because... Right. No one can know that. Right. 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 Again, right. attorney client privilege. It's only between um, you. And, and generally speaking, I try to tell my clients, like, look, if you did it, I don't want to know. I don't need that. I don't need that exact piece. Right. But everything else, just tell me the truth. Me. You know, right. give, me, give me the full God's honest truth because right. I can't tell anybody. Even if I tell you, like in a consultation, even if I tell you I'm not going to represent you, now no one else can go with me you know, for that information either. Like, I got to take that shit to my grave even if you didn't pay me. Right. Because oh. we consulted about it. Oh, so even on a consultation, it's Even this. on a consultation, attorney-client privilege attaches. So the number one thing that pisses me off most about a client is when they lie. Wow. I hate that shit. Right. It drives me insane. I mean, especially when it comes to something like a divorce or something like that. Yeah. Where, where, where it's I not a criminal ass. issue. Yeah. Well, why the fuck surprise are you lying to me? You know? Yeah, surprise. I, I how many times have you got a surprise I kicked her ass? Yeah, exactly. No. You know, that's... Uh, you know, no, yeah, no. And, <laughs> but, and, and it comes so much down to that that part of my contract, when you, when you hire me, one of my fee agreement lines in there is if you lie to me, I will fire you. No. I quit. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, it... Because I've had clients embarrass me in front of a judge. Yeah, where I, I imagine making, that shit. Where I'm making an argument for somebody, and it becomes obvious they just lied. Yeah. They just lied bald face to me, and I've been over here for three months on this fucking case running off this one fact that's not a fact. Yeah. And it just gets proven the other direction. All right. Uh, you just, oh, yeah. here's, and I just, here's look, the text message where you stupid. said, yeah, you yeah. can have the house and shit, yeah, and I don't exactly. give a fuck. And, and exactly. Or yeah. like... You know, Damn. you said you didn't beat her ass. Here's the text message you sent to your best friend. Like, I just whooped the shit out that bitch. Look at these you know? pictures. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And then there it is. Yeah. Right there in my face. And now you stand in front of the judge. You got to look at the... You got to look at the... your pants them. down. Oh, here's yeah. you call with your pants and, down. And, and, and the judge is looking at me like I'm an asshole. Because yeah. I've, been, I've been lying for somebody. I yeah. don't need to. You know, like... Because, but as far as I understood, you know, was speaking for him, though. The information I had, I wasn't telling falsehoods. So here you got me looking like a dipshit. And I'll yeah. fire you immediately. And not only that, but I keep the retainer you paid me. Yeah, it's yeah. in the contract. Yeah. Do not lie to me. Speaking of retainers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quick question, because I saw this online one time. The poor man's copyright. You know how you mail something to yourself, yeah, yeah. that type of thing. If, say, I do the poor man's copyright. Sure. Then I feel like somebody violated my copyright. They actually took it. Uh -huh. If I bring it to you. Are you? Does the retainer go higher because it's going to be so hard? Like, is that case just harder? To that case isn't hard at all, proof. That's you don't need to hire an attorney for that at all. You just can't. Don't open, it. don't open a piece right. of metal. That, you know, you cut the track. Like, say, you know, you're making a song or whatever. And right. you're, you're claiming they, they stole your lyrics or whatever. Right. And you mailed the CD to yourself right. or, or the thumb drive. I would I'd mail a CD. It'd be easier, but mail right. a CD to yourself, for instance. Yeah. It's postmarked. Don't open it. And then it's just, just don't. I mean, you can literally file a lawsuit over it. Don't and, open it. Just and, leave it. Get there it to court is. And it's like, here yeah, you go. I mean, exactly, because the court's going to open it. It's going to be part of the trial, uh, or or I'll, or uh, really it'll probably be part of a, uh, a hearing beforehand. But right. Either way, once it's opened in front of a judge, you know, it's part of the record. We all know that this is when it was opened. Yeah. It's on the record now. Now that piece of uh, you know mail has been opened comes out and here it is someone ripped the shit off so it's not harder for a lawyer to, to, to fight that case than any other case uh, it depends on what you want to get pissed about in the copyright oh, okay yeah right. so now that, that's what it's really about it's that's like, you know in, if, in if the... it's like somebody stole a couplet from you or something nah. yeah you're wasting my time like I, if you want to pay me I'll go fight it but right. like it's just a couplet you know right. like, it's hard for me to argue that someone else couldn't come up with 
they still these a two whole like or whatever together. album artwork though yeah that's yeah exactly yeah. like something you could easily trace or beat for example that's yes. one thing that's major someone stole a beat from you right that you didn't put out there for people to use oh you know what I'm saying yes and then you got it on a... now okay with the beats though have you ever had like a case where somebody does the beat thing like, uh, I, I have not but I'm familiar with it now it's like because you know a lot of people put their stuff on YouTube yep so if you put your stuff on YouTube is that open to the public now or is it you can still go claim something oh okay see now let me let me preface this by telling you that i'm not an ip or or a, or right. a trademark lawyer like right. I, this is not I, legal I, advice no, right. not, we're you, just like, talking right but now. i mean I, I could talk to you confidently at least on criminal stuff on, right. on this end um i really don't know i want to say that if you still trademarked it or, or, or copyrighted it or whatever, still. that it's still yours, you know. Regardless like, if it's yeah, in a, like, like I mean, but you have artists like all day long, like say uh, Eminem or somebody right. has like a Vivo channel or something like yeah. that on YouTube. That's still their music. Right. You're right. You can't rip it off. Here's the thing right. too. I get hit with them copyright claims all day because I'll do music videos for artists, you know, and those artists will have copyright claims on it and I'm, do, I'm hired to do the music video for them. So when I put the music video out on my page, they hit and they collect whatever I would have collected off of the views. Yeah, for this. Yes. yes. So, you know, it's still their music. And like most of them, you have to call them and ask them to lift that. You know, you need to contact mm -hmm. them and lift it. But they ain't going to do that. They're going to get the money. Hell yeah. That's why I don't promote it no more. Uh, I don't. Why? Why? You're going to take Why? it anyway. You're taking the money anyway. So. I got to pay my one payment. Yeah, my mm -hmm. my down. So if if that wasn't the case, I'd promote the shit out of your stuff. But uh, no. that's because you never ran into somebody like me that was slick like a manager because I already had that in the contract. Well, I was well, still promoting that well, shit. Yeah, well, Rome, regardless, here's the thing, though. You, my that's what we need, you, have to, you have to get them to contact like CD Baby or somebody oh, yeah, to yeah. lift it. They just never do. No, oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. but that's some even shit. if they don't. You got the paperwork. Now you I got, got the paperwork pay. saying that yeah. was part of the agreement. Yep. Yep. You already so. signed that shit. You got paid. And part of it is promoting it. Right. I like this guy. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. I really feel like I should have been a lawyer because everything you say, like, I could just see me, like, standing behind him. And, like, you know, like, just yeah. leaning over the shoulder, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that. That's a funny story. I did have one client just like that who was the loudest mouth motherfucker on the planet, and I got this cat out of a out of a, uh, a drug dealing charge, like a, a possession with intent. Oh, got him completely out of it. Yeah, and like. I had to threaten to beat the shit out of him uh, <laughs> yeah, to get him to not talk. So I was like, dude, don't fucking talk. Like, no matter what happens, you get pissed, the cop's lying, and the cop's lying. Stop, don't say anything. Just shut up. Right, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't say a fucking word. Right. And, they, and he didn't listen to shit. But that was him. That was him. Just, when, yo, standing there, yeah. the judge is reading that shit. He's over here like, <laughs> dancing like yeah motherfucker yeah that's me <laughs> uh, I was proud of him though he didn't say shit I was proud of him I was proud of him he said I had to threaten to beat his nah, ass you know, I can, yeah. we're gonna go in here and I, I can tell you what it was I put you on and I mean he, his ass would probably come right in here and admit to it yeah. <laughs> I, like, I will fuck you up <laughs> <laughs> Not I another word. You up. Don't say shit. So no, I got this. Like just let me do my fucking name this job. podcast. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. This okay. episode is shut. The shut fuck the fuck up, up with James McRae. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, see, so, uh, speaking of copyrights, I don't want to rip off those uh, the pot. Yeah, we can't. Do, yeah, he's talking yeah. about just naming the episode. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we're running out of time a little bit here. Lightning round, real fast. Uh, I don't know. We haven't really done a lightning round in like a month. What's a lightning round? Well, we ask you a bunch of like fast questions with just f quick answers. I got three. You, just ask the questions. Go sure, ahead. go for me. Best book you ever read? Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. Blood Meridian? Mm -hmm. Or The Evening Redness in the West. It's got two titles, but yeah. Okay, cool. Evening Redness in the West, Blood Meridian. All right, bet. I actually be buying these books. All right, second question. Mm -hmm. If you weren't a lawyer, you're top occupation after that if you had to do something else i'll be a mechanic wow i really love working on cars and did not just, see that coming 
Yeah. Uh, I, I find mm-hmm. peace in it. I, I like fixing things that are broken. That's what's up. No wonder you're like. Yeah, 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 no shit. Hey, yeah, right. Yeah. I like fixing but, things that are broken. Yeah. People. <laughs> I do. I do actually have some success stories of, of addicts that I've actually gotten into DC. Uh, DC four, yeah, who, who are doing very well for themselves. That they still make me proud to this day. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Third question: What's your podcast, and what do y'all talk about? Uh, my podcast is called Fermenting Opinions. Um, it is a political podcast first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, uh, we'll branch off with like we do uh, little hangouts. So people can come and join. Uh, lately, my co-host, uh, David Biden, has been doing one on uh, religion and the existence mm. of God. And, like, we've had... Um, uh, Please let me come on there. Uh, we just come... Look, I got us lined up for a couple podcasts, too, well, Yeah, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be happy to... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, you'd be arguing with professional apologists who are uh, theologians who have PhDs and whatnot in I'm theology. I'm going to them off. Yeah. Just well, let them know. I'm oh, going to piss them off. I mean... And, All right. Uh, but... But this yes, is be great. Uh, Fermenting Opinions is our podcast. Normally what we do is we will interview, uh, say, local inter- or local candidates for office. Cool. Or running for stuff or, or uh, statewide okay. shit. We've never really had a, a, a national level candidate aside from people who are running for Congress and shit around here. Yeah. Um, we've done several interviews with, like, uh, say, the state board director for Massachusetts on uh, the marijuana policy when they legalized it. I talked to him. Mm. We did that. But we interview people mainly. That's our main thing. Um, occasionally, something crazy will go down, like, say, this impeachment bullshit. Right. Uh, David and I cut a podcast that should be out tomorrow, I think. Um, tomorrow, Fermenting Opinions. No, no, I take that back. It's already out. It's actually already out. He's already got it out. Go look it up right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and I'm, I'm going to plug us when, when I finish that. But yeah, um, yeah. but we did one just kind of as a primer rundown on what the hell is going on with this impeachment stuff. Exactly. So, like, I went through and explained, you know, the laws at stake and, right. you know, what happened, what the hell is going on with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and all this. Right, and right, where did right. all this come from? Like, we did a little, I think it was like, 35 minutes maybe uh-huh. just a quick you know right just kind of follow-up thing doing that but right. um but if you were to try to find us uh we have a facebook group and a facebook page under the same name fermenting opinions you can find us at fermenting uh-huh. um if you search fermenting opinions on pretty much any podcast channel or, or source you can think of we're on the, any platform the, any platform yep, yep yep uh you know itunes or beyond pod or Okay. Any of that stuff. Um, For many opinions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and that's pretty much where you find us at. Right. If, if you look for fermenting opinions, you're going to find us. It's a pretty unique name. Right. Can we come on there, though? Sure. Yeah. I don't want to come on there as guest. I want to come on there as guest host. <laughs> like, I do. I want you to still have really? a guest. Well, okay, I'm going to take it back then. I got to talk to David about uh, okay. right. yeah, I, well, I, say, but... I just want to come on, man. Like, but I, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to be the, the, the guest of the hour. I want to come on there and host. I want them to still bring a guest on and we can talk our shit. Why they talking they shit? You thought this out, haven't you? Actually, Fuck yeah. Yes. Was, and, and you know, honestly, <laughs> we could probably find somebody to do that. Right, right, right. It'll right, be a lot of right, fun. Right. Um, well, you know what? Fuck it. Either way, we can do it either way. Well, we can I was going to say, way. Uh, the we other option is that, I mean, you know, we could all just collab for one episode or something. Right, just, right. You know, shoot the shit and talk right. about running podcasts. And hell, we've been doing it for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, the podcast? Yep. Yeah. Yo. All right, I got to catch yeah, up. Yeah, we, we've been Yeah, we'll talk afterwards. We'll talk afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, look at uh, real up, quick. Man. I've known, I've known James since what you were five. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. you would have been six, or maybe you would have still been five too. Like, yeah, not I don't, that far away. Right. Uh, I think you're maybe six months older than I am. Something. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, we uh, Paco and I grew up together. Yeah, like. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like grew up together right, out in the middle right. of fucking nowhere. Right. You know, the, yeah, like, yeah. We're Country, as close boy. to neighbors as you can be as neighbors. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we uh we we grew up together, man. Roger we, Blake we, we, to the... We've seen some shit and done some shit <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a lot of shit. So okay, all right, I'm gonna hit you with this there. Right. Since you have known me for so long, mm-hmm. if you could tell one story to the viewers and I give you permission, just oh, leave no. names out. Oh, leave names no. out. Oh, God. Don't implement anybody on uh, anything. Yeah, uh, if you could tell one story to the viewers, this is your chance to air my dirty laundry. 
Oh please. man, I don't want to. I don't want to go too hard on you on that. Please go that hard. Go please <laughs> make this uncomfortable. I know. I know. A lot. Oh, nothing <laughs> makes me uncomfortable. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, actually, you know, I'm gonna tell a story when you didn't mow the grass. Oh, okay. Do that. Do that. Yeah, that's an easy one. Yeah. Right? But that still is. Wait, wait, wait! Don't tell that one. Don't tell uh, that. You can't pick and choose. You told him to pick uh, his own no, story, man. man. No, man, you can't. What was going man, on? Okay. Guys, it, does, yeah. it, it does implicate somebody you could easily identify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What we're talking about, that's a story with my mother. Yeah. You know what I mean? You would want to hear some shit with my mother. You want to yes, hear. Yes, you would. You want to hear a real story. Oh, no. I wanna that story. One was you want to hear a story funny. about my mother? I, I want to hear it. All right, go ahead. Shoot oh, it off. Okay. No, you, no. you have missed all this shit that me and this nigga have done. And all right, have now, selected you the story with my mother. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do it as a two parter because I'm going to do this one real quick. Okay, uh, we, okay. we can give you the, the recap of with his mother is that uh, Baco and I were playing video games down in his basement for like two straight days. And the video, the basement was like dark. Like, I mean, you just, yeah, it was, but, but it was dark too. You yeah. had no idea what day or night it was. No, you know, no windows. Yeah, no windows. Nothing. No windows. Didn't though. know. Yeah, like we just, just we make a food down there. Like we're doing our thing. We don't know what day or time it was. But uh, but <laughs> Baco's mom had told him that we needed to mow the grass. Our and lawn was gra- big enough. Grass we had like five or six acres. Like it yeah, was, it was six chore. acres. It was like a chore. Yeah. You know, but before we all had zero turn mowers. Yeah, yeah, but right. we didn't. You know, at the same time. Are we, we still would, talking push starts? Like no. The, the push well, I was, I was stuck on a push motherfucker. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but I had. But I mean, yeah. So like, we just lost track of time or whatever. But his mama came home and was pissed, and we, I mean, like screaming about it. And she was wrong. I mean, like she was like, Paco, Paco. And he's like, what? And she was like, thought I told you to mow the grass. And he was like, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I thought I told you to mow the grass. And he goes, mow it your damn self, woman. <laughs> I swear to God, this tiny little black lady. Just, I mean, all you hear is, doop, 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 doop. Yeah, she was, all them shoes. She comes running down the stairs. I mean, kicks a flip flop like up in the air and snatches that. <laughs> I mean, it was like some ninja shit. Just kicks that motherfucker in the hand, grabs it, and starts beating the living dog shit. <laughs> Parker's literally sitting there holding the video game control and just kind of looks up, you know, kind of surprised. She beats the dog shit. <laughs> I mean, dog just shit. bad, bad. I mean, just whooping his ass, cussing him, screaming, you know. And I'm over here, like, trying out the lab oh, and looking shit. at it. And she, like, stop. And she looks at me. And she points that flip flop at me and she goes, You want some white boy? <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. And she goes, Get up there and move my fucking grass. <laughs> well, I, yes. well, I hit him some more. <laughs> Mowed your damn cell phone. I was yeah. already up there getting him lawnmowers ready to go. Hell yeah. He's down there trying not to oh, cry. Oh, man. Friend. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, so, so there's one more that I really love. Uh, okay. We're not, we're not, and again, this ain't too bad. No. We're not, uh, we're, we're not going to name the, the young man involved, but there was another young man that grew up with us, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yep, I Yep, yep. And, uh, and I don't know, he and I never got along. We didn't like each other when we were kids. Like, we just didn't get along for sure. I was like that middle ground, and yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, tolerated yeah, yeah. each other. I, think, I mean, I think it was kind of a jealousy thing, too. Like, that's yeah. your best friend, whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fun, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but him and, uh, him and Paco used to get into it bad. Yeah, and, and like that's the one that stabbed me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, but, but no, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we had. You, never told oh, me you don't friend. know how ruthless oh, yeah, we no. used to be. Oh, no, dude, they were they were bad about. It. <laughs> we were ruthless. Yeah, we, we was. Yeah. He and I used to fuck with each other, but nothing that bad. Yeah. But But them, like, when they get into it, I mean, it would be bad. Yeah. And so like, I don't remember what the fuck y'all are arguing about. We were, but we were making some popcorn upstairs. <laughs> I know you know it. This what a way to start it. No, no. Yeah. What a way to bring it. Mike, we were, pop, we were, we were Mike making popcorn, popcorn upstairs man. and they were arguing back and forth. And like Paco, through this whole argument, is trying to put this bag of popcorn in the microwave. You know, like. Right, boop, boop. And like they're getting into it. It's getting bad back and forth. And this dude steps up. Now, take note. He's about what six four? Yeah, he's big. I'm only five eight. Yeah, I'm no, five, you, you, I think you told him to shut the fuck up, something like that. And he was like, "What are you gonna do about it? Hit me with the popcorn?" <laughs> and Paco takes this bag of popcorn, it's unpopped. And I mean, if you think about it, 
It's a solid brick of butter with like seeds in it. Paco takes this shit and lays him the fuck out. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. I mean, it was like he threw a right cross, except he used the popcorn bag. Yeah. He just fucking cracked him across the face so hard it sent this fucking giant six foot four, six foot five kid slung to the floor, oh, knocked shit. the fuck out, like yeah. down. And like um, the thing oh, is, a bag of popcorn. With a bag of the popcorn. popcorn is folded like a trifold, right? Yeah. So I was like, Just grabbing a fold. Fat, fat, fat. <laughs> I <laughs> let it fly by. Yeah. yeah, he goes, What are you going to do with the popcorn? And Fargo's just like, Shwap. <laughs> Whack across the fucking thing. It's like when Bugs oh, Bunny takes God. his glove yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. never forget that until the day I die watching that. You hit me with the popcorn. That made me so happy because, I mean, me and dude just didn't get along. And, like, that was the fucking best knockout shot. I this right. is why Monroe. Right. You say it too much, nigga. <laughs> That's so bad. Yeah. Oh shit. And I got a million of those stories, but we're, oh, we're gonna stick with those. Shit. Those are both fairly tame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me on. and James used to run around pretty, uh, pretty intense. I ain't putting anybody on blast. We're not. Gonna yeah, talk we're not gonna put no names. Me, me like, and James could recap our childhood as a podcast and at least go through three seasons. Yeah, Damn. yeah. We, we, we were definitely not gonna talk about the church as. Oh uh, my God! Not the church as. We're not doing that one. Anyway, uh, can I please tell this story? With you, what are talking about church? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, no, the abridged version. I don't, I don't, yeah, what happened in I church? give the abridged version. Okay. The bridge version. I don't, I mean, all right, I don't know. all right. I'm here for it. This was, this was pretty boy. scandalous. Story time. Look, the abridged right. version is this, bro. Put the thing in. Put the <laughs> so me and James are in high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And this girl. That we both. Yeah, we both. Been there, done that. Done yeah. that. Wait, whoa, whoa. Both of y'all? Yeah. yeah wait. wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. So this this girl is like, we're hanging out. And I was like, so-and-so wants to hang out with her. And they were like, what? And I was like, yeah, so-and-so wants to hang out. She was like, she wants to pick us up. So she picks us up. And she got a car. Oh, yeah. She oh, got yeah. Car. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't fuck with no Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you. Yeah. No, none of that, damn. But yeah, but no. There yeah. was no heroin here then <laughs> everybody was good then she was, yeah, she was a good little everybody's church everybody's able yeah, yeah. Everybody she was, was a good body. little church look it is a girl we, we get in the car we're like where are we going she's like oh I got this spot we can go to and we can kick it I've got keys to this spot man and we're like alright yeah cool let's, you let's, know, do, cool. let's do some it's dirty shit yeah, yeah yeah man this girl pull up to a church bro. oh no no, this is her church. Oh, this is her, her church. church that she is. Oh, this is what she got keys to. Yeah. Oh. And we were like, she drags us both. She drags us both in there. Yes. To a church. To a church. <laughs> in the middle of the night. You know, and y'all looking at each other the whole like, time, like, what? And both of us are like, fuck it, we doing this. <laughs> Oh, no. We're, 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 We're here in the church, nigga. No, no. <laughs> but I ain't right out of the way. I get oh, to sit in the car. No. That, shit, right. that shit was yeah. Terrible. It was uh, you know, and I already knew I was going to hell. But, but. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. There's no doubt there now. Yeah, we, we definitely. She signed them papers for us. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But it was so we got there. We were <laughs> like, how are you not gonna do it? Like, yeah, duh. You're gonna, you're gonna. Yeah. 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 I mean, we were both like, we're like kids. eighteen or something. Yeah. Yeah, we, yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going down. Right. Maybe we should say we were seventeen, so we're not trying this anything. You know what I mean? Come well, on. no. Sexual yeah. limitations are already over with. Uh, yep. We're good. Sorry. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's good to have friends. Well, I don't even know that was in Murray County, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. remember where that was. No, I don't either. I know no. it was in this area. No, but I don't Seeds remember where it was. At all. <laughs> but they never, I never looked at a county like that. No, all, I closed all, my eyes the whole ride. First of all, we were in my tees. She yeah. had a key to the church. Yeah, there's no breaking in. Yeah, we, nope. She let us in. Yeah. She invited us into that church. So it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, not only that, but it's been fucking 15 years yeah, so, yeah. It was I, would ne- I would never do anything like that yeah, again you know, there's no statute of limitations Wouldn't? running la- except no. murder <laughs> no we ain't doing it don't and I mean, like nobody, got, nobody got murdered no yeah 
No. Mm. Something Why you right. looking something, like something that? Right. Why you looking like that, bro? You know what? I'm just going to change the angle to James. Hold on here. <laughs> there we go. You can't even look like that no more. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm praying. I'm Because I'll be honest, man, and, and anybody Lord, follows me, me on Facebook. for the sins that I have committed. Follows me on, on anything. They know I have a very deep belief in God. Oh, I very believe deep. in him. But I'm telling you right now. Now your belief would have went deeper into somebody else. Yo, if, <laughs> if you come kidnap me on a late night and you take me to the only building that in, in a county I don't know where I'm at and you're like, we're going to do it in the church. Well, then we just, then we're going to do it in the church. We're going to do it in the church. That's what we're, we're doing. Gonna, now. We're, we're, I don't know where I'm at. What, I'm going to give you another suggestion. Also, <laughs> hey, but also with your homie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Rock, paper, scissors. Who goes first? Yeah, uh, hey, whatever. I'll pray about it. I'll pray about it. <laughs> pray about it. <laughs> the only thing that's going to fuck me up is why he's in there do, doing his part. I'll be outside in the sanctuary just looking around like, yeah. Mm, yeah it's, it's, it's real quiet. It's, it's real quiet. quiet in this it book. was so funny. Except for that. <laughs> I said. I see this nigga. This nigga. I see this nigga. We should probably not. We'll talk about this later. Hey, this is the Who That Podcast. We shot it out. Peace. Peace. Hold on. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who that? 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 Who that?